God says, Grating my dear child, take time to relaxation in my presence. Amidst the busyness of lifestyles, find moments of stillness and peace. In the quietness you may hear my gentle whispers, presenting you with steerage and knowledge. Let my word be a source of nourishment and renewal to your soul. Listen the complete message if you trust in God's blessings. Subscribe to our channel to grow our community. Trust me, dear child, this heartfelt message emphasizes the concept of divine providence and purpose, drawing parallels between the challenges faced by biblical figures like the Israelites, Joseph, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and the trials individuals encounter in their own lives. It conveys the idea that while the power to change circumstances exists, Allowing challenges to unfold is part of a larger plan. The analogy of leading the Israelites to the promised land through the Red Sea showcases the importance of trials in realizing ultimate blessings. The message underscores the notion that these difficulties serve as preparation for the blessings in store by sharing these Examples, the message aims to inspire faith and trust, assuring that every life event is guided by a divine plan. The script conveys the belief that adversities not only shape individuals, but also pave the way for others to recognize a higher purpose. Ultimately, the message encourages embracing faith and acknowledging the presence of a comprehensive plan, echoing the assurance that, like the figures of old, individuals too are on a path towards a destined purpose. If you desire miracles, watch this video all the way through to the end. Jesus claims your words have reached the heavens and as a benevolent deity, I am here to soothe your heart and grant your prayer for the protection of children and their innocence. Your concern for the well-being of the young ones touches the depths of my divine being. Know that I hold the purity and innocence of children in the highest regard. Like a vigilant guardian, I shall cast a protective shield over them safeguarding their innocence from the trials and tribulations of the world. Their laughter shall resonate as a melody in my divine realm, and their curiosity will be nurtured, allowing them to explore the wonders of life without fear. God says, share this video and bless others. As the gentle wind caresses the petals of a flower, so shall my divine presence watch over these precious souls through the tapestry of time. I shall weave threads of resilience and love around them, empowering them to face challenges while preserving their innate goodness. Rest assured, dear child, your prayer has been heard, and my eternal embrace will cradle every child, shielding them from harm's way. Let your heart be lightened, for in your compassionate plea, you have awakened the infinite compassion that dwells within me. Type yes if you agree and share this video with nine people who trust God. God says, your worries can serve as a new Jato draw near, not drift afar, as with Moses and the seas divide. I shift then unattainable to attain. Type Amen to affirm and if you believe our Christian community, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks up to $20 for things Jesus wants you to understand this week. 1. God is going to open doorways block 
too. God already has a plan to tug you out of that vicinity you're in. Don't you distractions renew your thoughts and give you again your peace. Dot dare quit earlier than your miracle. Three, you will recover. You will bounce back. Better days are coming. Blessings are coming your manner. God is as much as something tremendous. Four, everything you contact this week will prosper. You are stepping into your nice days. Lord says, type Y-E-S if you want to be a light in the darkness. I affirm that I am serene and tranquil. I will not allow individuals or situations to disturb me. I will overcome every challenge, understanding that I possess the ability to maintain composure. I opt to lead a joyful life, flourish in my current environment, and allow a higher power to handle my conflicts. Prayer for this week as we step into this new month. We approach you with hearts brimming with gratitude and anticipation. We express our thanks for the grace and blessings that have upheld us up to this point and for the assurance of your enduring love as we journey ahead. Lord, may this month mark a season of rejuvenation for our spirits. Guide us in releasing the weight of past burdens and regrets, enabling us to embrace the novel opportunities that await. May this fresh month overflow with your grace, favor, and plentiful blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Type Amen if you have faith in God. O mighty one, I humbly kneel before you now, I beseech you to illuminate the shadows within me, fortify my weaknesses, repair my fractures, Restore my ailing parts, and rekindle any faded peace and love. Let this prayer extend to my kin, companions, adversaries, and those who harbor ill will. Listen carefully, dear child, at some point you must cease. Merely contemplating, discussing, envisioning, investigating, or strategizing, and take action. Rarely does a flawless opportunity rise. Rather, there exists a window of faith. You must bravely embark on the journey and pursue it. By stepping forward, you will discover, whether it's divinely inspired or merely a solid notion. Don't worry about missing a divine sign leaving God's path is more challenging than you realize with a sincere heart. God can effortlessly adjust your path and return you to the right course. It's more difficult for him to guide you when you're stagnant compared to when you're in motion. Halt the procrastination, initiate movement, and have faith that God will orchestrate your path. As you progress, the adventure is worth the gamble. As God said, only a few loyal people will stay connected to this video till the end. The Bible says, stay vigilant. Be cautious of your formidable adversary, the devil. He roams about like a roaring lion, seeking someone to consume. Minus 1 Peter 5 to 8. G.O.D. declares, I just wanted to remind you ways Exquisite and terrific you without a doubt are. Ehavi created you in my image which makes you ideal in every way. You are capable of something you put your mind to and also you have the power to accomplish all you put out to do. I'm usually right here so that you can lean in and manual you. Type thank you God if you believe. A temptation, God often uses your life experiences as stepping stones to prepare you for what lies ahead. Scripture teaches us that even the challenges 
brought by the enemy can be turned around for our good. Genesis 50 to 20. God guides us through a journey of preparation, underscoring the importance of keeping our focus on Him rather than our circumstances. Trust in His plan even when it's hard to comprehend. Trust in His plan even when it's hard to comprehend. He's orchestrating your path. If things don't align with your timetable, remind yourself that God's wisdom surpasses our understanding. He's working for your best interest, preparing you for something beyond imagination while waiting. Avoid the trap of trying to decipher everything as it only brings frustration walk by. Faith, not sight, and witness as goodness unfold in your life. Those acquainted with your name will place their confidence in you. For you, Lord, have not abandoned those who pursue you. Psalm 910 Like this video if you believe this. God's presence is evident in the waiting, not only confined to answered prayers, miracles, and blessings. He resides within the moments of silence and seeking, asking, praying, and surrendering. Amid challenges, storms, and valleys, even when unseen or unfelt, God remains by your side. He's a constant companion never leaving you alone, that's his essence. Type Amen, and like the video if you love the God, and also subscribe for more God messages, and God bless you.